Hi, I'm Lauren Parrott, and you're watching Things to Do at the Gross Point War Memorial. I'm so excited for everyone to see what's here on the set right now. I am here with Rosalind Peck and Beaker Bryant, and we are going to be talking about science camp here at the War Memorial. So welcome. Thank, Thank you for you. coming. Hi. Thanks for having us. <laughs> so Rosalind, can you talk a little bit about the organization? Absolutely. Um, I own Mad Science of Detroit. Um, we're located in Livonia, but we do the whole of Wayne County. And we're thrilled to be coming to the War Memorial this summer to do two different science camps. Um, we're going to be doing uh, preschool camps about dinosaurs. And also we're going to be doing um, a camp for older children from 5 to 12 on chemistry. It's called Crazy Chem Works. That's great. And Beaker Bryant, mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to talk about what you have in your hands because I can't get over it. This is what we call our mad science polymer putty. It's actually a chemical suspension. It's called, not a suspension, it's called a colloid. It's made out of a polymer called polyvinyl acetate, which your viewers may know more commonly as white glue. <laughs> you take glue and you mix in a special chemical that causes a cross-link polymer reaction. It's awesome. It actually traps water inside the molecules. As you know, normally glue gets hard as it dries. Well, this stuff traps the water so that not only doesn't it stick to you, but it keeps that water in so it acts like a liquid, almost. It still breaks like a <laughs> solid. It's awesome stuff. That is very cool. And from what I understand, the kids will be actually making this, correct, in That's class? Right. Actually, um, Beaker Bryant is one of our mad scientists at Mad Science of Detroit. Um, he is going to be in teaching children. I don't know if he'll be actually at the camps here, but he does do different workshops around um, the county. Um, but this is the sort of thing that we teach children. Mm -hmm. um, we also have some other things that I've brought. Now, the dinosaur camp is, of course, my favorite because I, I really, really love those little tykes. So <laughs> one of the things that we do is we have a lot of different props that we can use to teach three to five-year-olds about dinosaurs, and I just love this guy. I'm not sure what to call him, but I'm sure he must be a relative of the Tyrannosaurus rex. Yes. And we have one right here. Now, the children will actually get to to um, handle these, to learn about the structures. Really very, very interesting. And they'll make, get to make their own dinosaur teeth. Now this is a replica of a dinosaur, Tyrannosaurus rex tooth, and the children will get to make their own. So very interesting. They'll learn to dig for dinosaur bones. Um, there will be all kinds of fun things going on with a mad scientist just like Beaker Bryant, <laughs> who is really kind of a mad scientist. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely have some fun with it. Ah, I brought well, a couple other things to show you as well, if you're interested in seeing some fun I, stuff. I am so interested. I can't wait. Let's get it going. Awesome. Well, check <laughs> this out. During the chemistry, the crazy chemicals, crazy chemistry mm -hmm. uh, summer camp, not only do you get to make things like our polymer putty, which yeah. when you get to make it, you get to take it. Ah. That's one of the best parts. Uh, yeah. You also get to see and feel and taste certain other things. Obviously in science, you can't taste everything. Like no. you don't want to eat this. It's made mm. out of plastic. Mm -mm. Not good to eat. But I've got something else that is really awesome. Now check it out. What, is, what does that look like in there? Water. You're right, it's water. Now, carefully tell me, is that hot or cold? It's hot. It is, it's actually warm water. I heated it up earlier. It's nice and warm, not boiling hot. Notice I can touch it with my skin, mm -hmm. but I've got a glove on because of course in science you always want to be careful. Yes. Now I do have something that I'm not going to let you touch because it is a little bit dangerous. Okay. This right here, now what does it look to you like? What does it look um, like? It looks like hot ice. Exactly. <laughs> it is a type of ice that's not made out of water like regular ice. Instead, it's made out of a chemical, a gas called carbon dioxide. You can actually see the smoke coming off. I don't know if everybody can see it at home, but this stuff is awesome. Oh my gosh. My warm breath causes it to sublimate faster. Instead of melting into a liquid and dripping, instead of that, it just turns into a gas and floats off. Now, if I take a little tiny piece of that and put it into this warm water, do you think it'll stop smoking or do you think it'll smoke more? Oh gosh. Well, I think it would stop smoking, but... I'm... Let's see. Ah! Oh my gosh, it's boiling! It does. It's actually not boiling, it's sublimating so fast that it almost looks 
like a crazy mad science potion. <laughs> Now, you notice anything weird about this flask? And maybe it's got something different than most flasks see. What do you yeah, think It has that an is? opening. Mm -hmm. this, is high, this side arm right here is used by scientists where if you put something on the top, you can still get stuff out of the side. So if I put my hand on the top, watch what happens. You see it squirts out the side like that? Yes. Now, here's the awesome part. This is what we like to call a burp in a bottle. Oh, no. Do you know why? <laughs> no. Have you ever drank soda before? Maybe a pop, Coca-Cola, anything like that? Mm -hmm. Well, what's awesome about that, you know those bubbles in the soda? Yes. Those bubbles are made out of carbon dioxide. And this fog is made out of carbon dioxide. It's the same stuff. The students actually get to taste this stuff. Of course, what are you gonna do? Put it in a cup and drink it? No, you can't do that. Instead, we have Oh my Actually, it God. tastes kind of good. Would you like to taste a little bit of this? See what it tastes like? Tell everybody at home just what it tastes like? Oh, sure, I will, but I'm scared. Ah, well, you don't have to be scared. <laughs> Luckily, in mad science, we always take the proper precautions. We make sure everybody is perfectly safe. And, of course, we are fully trained to do this. So long as you follow the basic rules, we won't have any problems at all. Okay. Plenty of ice in there. Excellent. Here we go. Oh, Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Open wide. <laughs> that tastes kind of good. <laughs> mm -hmm. It actually mixes with the saliva on your tongue and lets you taste. Did it taste kind of like a soda? It did. Kind of like pop? It did. That's what it is. It this did. is the same stuff as the bubbles in your pop. Wow. All right, last thing I want to show you real quick, mm -hmm. last thing real quick, is um, if you catch those bubbles inside of other bubbles, yes. what do you think would happen? Oh gosh, I don't know. Watch this. In here I have a little bit, it's water again, it's got a little bit of color so you can see it, and it's got some soap. Oh no. Here see it goes. It is going to. Oh my gosh. See the bubbles? Over there, there wasn't anything to stop the bubbles from popping and just having the fog come out. In here, here it goes. I don't want to make it my oh, gloves wet. Oh, foam. <laughs> and of course the fog is still in there. Wow. <laughs> Snowstorm. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming today. Oh, our pleasure. Thank you so much for having us. Oh, of course. It just looks like these camps are going to be so fun. They'll be informational. You'll learn a lot, but they're going to be incredibly fun for the students. They are so are. much fun. Yes. And, you, and you know, science today is so important for our children. Right. Because that is, they are our future. And exactly. if they don't have the science, our future won't be as great as it can be with these children that have the background. Well, thank you so much again. For more information, call us at the War Memorial.